Hello, it's good to be with you today as Pastor Kirkland is away on his vacation. So I'm going to share a story with you from the book of Matthew that you know pretty well. Jesus is about to begin his Sermon on the Mount, but before he preaches his sermon, it's kind of early on in his ministry, and there's large crowds following him everywhere he goes. And these large crowds, they don't necessarily follow Jesus in service to him, but they follow him mostly because of what they can get from him. That was kind of the general attitude of the crowds that followed Jesus during that day. And so it says in chapter 5, verse number 1 of Matthew, that he, seeing the multitudes, went up into a mountain, and when he was set, he, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying... So it was here that Jesus departs from the multitude. He climbs up a mountain. It was actually kind of more of a hill, uh, if you're visualizing it. it was, but nonetheless, he climbs this mountain, and only his closest followers go with him. The crowds, they stand, stay down below. Those that climbed the mountain, they heard the greatest sermon that has ever been heard by human ears. The Sermon on the Mount. It, it was a life-altering sermon and it was truly a blessing to those that heard it. Those that didn't climb the mountain, they missed out. They didn't climb with Jesus. Therefore, they didn't grow in their, their faith. They didn't become closer to him in their walk. They had a very shallow walk with God. So let's fast forward in the sermon to the very end. We're missing all the good stuff, I know, but in chapter 8, verse number 1, it says, When he, Jesus, came down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. So when Jesus finishes his sermon, he comes down from the mountain, and there's the crowds. They meet up with him, and they follow him everywhere he goes. You see, that crowd... They weren't willing to climb with Jesus. They, they didn't grow in their faith because they, they weren't willing to just take that short hike up that mountain and, and hear a blessing. They just wanted to be comfortable. And I want to challenge you with that today. What kind of a, a walk with God do you have? Do you have a walk with God in which you are stretched every day? Do you have a walk with God where you, uh, you get out of your comfort zone and you do things that other people, even other Christians, won't do? Or do you have a walk with God where you, you just kind of stay at the bottom of the mountain and you just kind of blend in and you don't really do anything that takes a lot of effort? And you don't really, if you're being honest, you don't grow closer to God every day. You see, God didn't call us to that. God calls us to climb the mountain. He calls us to go where He goes. And He desires for us to grow in our faith. He desires for us to be stretched, and to get out of our comfort zone, and to put forth effort in our walk with Him. You see, God wants to use us to be world changers. But world changers don't hang out at the bottom of the mountain. They climb with Jesus. And if you're hearing me today, and if you're being honest, and you don't have a walk with God in which you're being stretched every day, you probably don't have a walk with God at all. And so, take the climb with Jesus. Give effort. Put forth effort in your walk with God every day and know Him more and walk closer to Him every day. God bless you. Thank you for hearing me today.